Check 212. What's up, everybody? This is DJ Divine Justice. Today I'm going to be talking about Tractor Pro 2 and um, the new sample decks and a MIDI assignment that I figured out with Machine using that as a MIDI controller. Um, now, the software is Tractor S4. I had a friend that had the S4 controller, and so he put the software on. Um, but for all intents and purposes, that's going to be the new Tractor Pro um, with the addition of some effects, the change in the layout as far as the color scheme, and them having uh, four sample decks instead of just two. But um, for our intents and purposes today, uh, this will be how you can use the machine controller for Tractor 2. Um, now what I did was to create on machine two different templates. One that you can use for the Tractor track decks one that you can use for the sample decks and they pretty much mirror each other um, as far as what's going on with the knob pages these knob pages you can use to use these two buttons on tractor I'm sorry on the machine controller right here these two buttons will help you switch between the pages so on the first page I have my effects as you can see second page I have my EQs for A and B third page EQs for C and D fourth page I have um, some just general kind of mixer effects so on this side I have the track volumes with um, EQ low kills and the track filters for all four tracks as well as filter kills um, on the record page I added some functions as far as adding another extra crossfader knob um, the record volume for in the record section the monitor mix so you can either listen to a combination of the what's queuing in your headphones and the outward playing track or just what's queuing in your headphones and then monitor volume itself is the last one and then over here I have limiter and auto gain which I pretty much don't use and I um, uh, haven't really made the most out of this side now what I added to what I already had when the sample decks came was these two pages which is um, the filters because each sample deck has its own dedicated filter and then sample deck volume um, and I don't use those load buttons um, right now because I'll, I'll show you what I've done instead um, so now that we got that part down I'll show you what I did as far as tractor um, now right now I'm in sample decks I'm going to hop back over to my track decks. So, what um, oops, I hopped all the way over to battery, which I don't even use. Sample decks, track decks. So now we're in sample decks. Um, so, what you'll notice over here, I, I basically, when this is in track, when this is in track deck mode, controlling my tracks, I want it to mirror what's happening over here as far as controlling the track. So like if I go to the hot cue page, you can see on track one, sorry, on track A, it's a track that has three cues. On track B, it's a track that has one cue point. Um, this Tractor X1 isn't the default setting, it's a modified setting. You can track, check my earlier videos as to how to use four decks on the Tractor X1, which would be deck A and C. So you can see that would be a whole, you know, it's clear because there's no track and then this would be B and D. So getting back to A and B, you can see on track A that has three cue points and on track B that has one cue point. So what I did was make the track selection track A, B, C, and D. So you can see track A and also it changes the focus. A has three cue points hit over to B, that has one, that has one. And so it's basically just these are the cue points, and so that mirrors the hot cue page. Then over here, you've got your play, cue up, um, cue play, um, play and sync, and that matches over here. So for instance, on, um, on track A, I can press play from here. and it doubles over there then I just press play 
difference I also have is that this will be an on and off for sync and then this is just a momentary sync. I also program this one button so that if you ever have something that's um, not in sync this one button will um, start from the first cue point and put the song into sync um, which is a pretty cool effect. Um, so that's just how this template for tractor decks mirrors the um, control X1. So then in the control sample decks what happens is is that if you're gonna drag something from a track that's playing and looping if you were to drag that from a regular deck into one of the sample decks you'll notice that um, three things happen so now if I stop this deck you'll see that that track is playing it's also muted so that you can't hear it um, so what I figured out was is that you need three modifiers which end up being these three buttons. This I use as load, this I use as play, and this I use as mute. Because what it does is, is that when you drag it down, it loads it to the deck, it starts it playing, and it mutes it. That's why you can't hear this, um, this loop playing right now. Um, you can see that's the third deck, third sample deck. So this third sample deck is loaded, letting me know that there is a track playing in there. This button is letting me know that it's muted. So now if I disengage the load and disengage the play, I just have the mute function. So if I hit this button, which is where that deck it, where that sample deck is playing, it unmutes. Remutes. Unmutes. Now you can hear it playing. So this one's mute, and this one's play. So now I can have it the play on and off. And the reason it's starting from different sections is because in the background there's still um the metronome going. So now in the headphones you can hear the metronome. So I'll go back to playing. So even if I hit it off a little bit, it's still going to bring this, this play in on time. Um, I'm thinking because I have quantize on. Um, quantize and snap I have mapped to these buttons because this one was already named snap and auto write in my mind is kinda like quantize even when quantize is off as you see it's still gonna bring that back in now what I also did was is that um, I changed this is this is load and load is up there if I just wanted to load it in but if I want to do something like a, a simple re-trigger I can do that so that's load then I can have it playing now you can hear that it's kinda of off So on this second page in B, I created um, that's a sync button. So you heard as soon as I hit that button, it went back in. Because each sample deck, one, two, three, four on C, and one, two, three, and four on D, all have individual syncs so that if you end up doing what I was doing which was just playing them regular
then you can go back get it synced right back on um, now if for some reason you wanted to just load a new loop so let's go ahead and um, another function I have is um, erase so now that's blank because I cleared it out and the reasons why these aren't showing up um, is because I had manually put them in later um, actually it's because they're not playing so if we go back to play I'm gonna launch the second one go ahead launch this one and you can see in my sample decks I'm gonna to go to my page called sample volumes so I can bring down the drums bring down that percussion bring the drums back in take out that synth so now I just have the drums because I'm in sample deck volume so now if I go over to sample deck filter you can hear the drums filtering out and then I can turn it off because the only, the only problem I had with filters is that if you don't have an immediate off when you get to the very top, in order for you to bring it back in, you have to try to jump directly straight to the middle. Fortunate thing, this one, bring it all the way down. Just pop the button off. Set it back to zero. Then re-engage the filter for whenever you're ready to use it again. Um, another function I had was using a different modifier, because all three of these are modifiers as well as the erase. Um, this one I use as list. So if I have any f loops, um, like in the track collection, you'll see that there's a bunch of loops. So I can go down in my loops and you can load these. I have these as up and downs. So I can scroll down and as I scroll it takes everything away so that I have a much broader view to view all my tracks. So I can load straight to like this one to that empty third deck just by having this list modifier and pressing on the third deck now I've got that loaded in. Take off this modifier, put on the play modifier, and it'll start playing. And I can choose which ones I want to mute, and it shows me down here which ones are muted. So that's all I can think of right now of how I um, utilize the sample decks in the new Tractor Pro 2 software and uh, my own personal MIDI mappings in Tractor's machine software. Hope that gave you some ideas. Always a good day to learn something new. Practice and enjoy. Peace.